Hey guys, it's Nelson with iOS Softmodder and I just got iOS 7.1 which is out and it's a currently a beta build and it's out for developers. So I'm going to show you a few of the new features uh, that you can find on iOS 7.1. So a few of the advancements are uh, bug issues but there are a few new features so I'm going to go through those really quick. So the first one is darkening your keyboard. So if you go to Twitter or something you can check out your keyboard. It's light. Uh, now you can darken it. Uh, if you go to settings, um, general, accessibility, you can scroll down and you'll see it here. Use dark keyboard and your keyboard will be dark. Um, Justin did a video on that already so you guys can check it out because there's different levels to the darkness because if you increase the contrast and put darkened colors it becomes even darker and reducing transparency. Um, darkens the background, um, darkens your whole device um, and it makes it become a little bit more saturated, things like that. So you guys can check out uh, that video. So that's a few things. Oh, I'll show you the keyboard. It's a little bit darker. And you can see that it's darker. Okay, cool. Uh, next thing is also having to do with... Um, well, the reason you would want to darken your keyboard is for better viewing experience, especially at night. Another one of the uh, features that you can now do is a bolded text. Actually, it's not a new feature. It's been on, uh, it's been on iOS for a while. But whenever you enabled it, you had to restart your device for it in order to take place. So now all you have to do is enable it and exit and go to Twitter. And you'll see that everything's bold now. So the texting, uh, or, I mean, the text is all bold. And yeah, it's pretty instantaneous. So you can check out some of this. This is bold too. So that's also uh, to enhance your uh, viewing experience, especially at night. We'll take that off. Okay, the next thing is with your camera. So if you head over to the camera and you put your flash on auto, you'll now see um, a little indicator that comes out down here whenever um, flash is going to be taken. So if I take flash now, if I take a picture now, no flash will come out, even if it's on auto because it's well lit. So no flash. So if I cover it, you can now see this little flash icon at the bottom. So if I press it, you can see flash is being used now. So now you know when flash is being used, which is, I, I like this feature because now I don't have to waste time taking a couple of pictures because the flash didn't go off when I, uh, when I initially took the first picture and wanted it on. Um, if you guys have an iPhone 5S, there's automatic HDR. So the same thing applies. There'll be a little icon yellow indicator down here that'll be on when HDR is going to be taken. But that's, I have the iPhone 5, but that's only for the iPhone 5S. And the last feature that I want to touch on is if you scroll down and go to all, you can now, whoa, it's really dark. Let me take that off, actually. Okay. So if you go down, you can now see this is no notifications. And if you go to missed, it says no missed notifications. That's new before there was no text like that at all. So I guess it's actually, it improves the, um, you accessing all or miss quicker so you know which one you're on and it says no notifications and no miss notifications and yeah that's it for now um i'm sure there'll be a new update that'll give a new feature so whenever that is we'll update and uh, post a new video all right well thanks guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at ios soft Modder. all right thanks